You want real danger? How about my deal with the foul Rainbow Zilla? As the heroes descended into the floor, caverns, Flint Cragley entertained them all. Boss! Boss! Kragnon's heard that story 255 times, bro. You make my crag hurt. Or after you count the time we weren't tied up, then at 256 times. Mario and company glanced over at the weary faces of Flint's crew as they delved deeper. But a light grew. Was it a ray of hope from the pure heart, or an evil illusion? Alright, welcome to chapter 5-4. This is gonna be the menace of King Crocus. Hello, all the crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Cragly ho We plotted on, traipsing over all manner of beasts that gnashed fangs at us. But then, no! A sight too horrible to believe appeared before our eyes. Boss, nothing happened yet, bruh. I know that, you Cretan. The sight too horrible to believe is still up ahead. I'm going to look for it for now. Come on, move! Alright, so those those morons are gonna, gonna run off on their own. Monzo not want to get left behind, bruh! And I say that's just as well, because I don't know how much more of that I can take. Alright. <clears throat> Why is there just a set of two blocks here? There's gotta be something hidden around here. Nope! Just two blocks. Alright, whatever. Alright, you can go away. I'm gonna give you a thorough whack. It seems that a Thudley does double damage compared to everything else too, right? Uh, if I were to switch to Bowser, would I get quadruple damage from using Thudley? I do not. Alright, so it's just, uh... <sighs> right, let's use a Shroom Shake. I, uh, don't remember being on that low HP. I must have been really careless when I was backtracking the last time. Is there anything else I can use? I guess I can use a Horsetail. Um, get that out of my inventory. That'll restore seven. <clears throat> I know that I'm probably more hesitant to, like, waste HP on healing items than I probably should be because, um, as stated as nauseam, uh, this is not a super difficult game. And also, this is a, this is not a game where healing items are exceptionally super difficult, as I say, as I allow all that to happen. Um, healing items are not exceptionally difficult to come by. That is another sap soup. Alright, wonderful. Let's see, what's in here? That's, this looks like a uh, rather official looking door in the, uh, in the caves. Interesting. That door does not look pure hardish at all. All right, let's. Uh, I'm sure you all some. I'm sure you all can take some uh, wild guesses at what's going to happen if I were to try that, but we're going to try this anyway, and get booted out. So, our mission for this level is going to be uh, to find one of those sprouts, those uh, flower dudes are wearing on their heads, and uh, see if we can use that. Hello, tiny pipe. See if we can use that to, uh, to make our way through. And that's a ghost room, okay. Zombie shroom, whatever. I think the, uh, the easy ones are ghost rooms and the harder ones are zombie shrooms. Alright. Um. Hello. Did you go somewhere? I really should at some point... I really should at some point scan these Flora Sapiens to see if there's any... Oh no, hello. Uh, to see if the To see if there's any difference between, uh, like the... God's sake. Between the versions with the, the yellow sunflowers and the versions with the, uh... Um, like the red sunflowers and the versions with the purple sunflowers. I don't think there is. Uh, they seem to all behave the same. Alright, hello. Can't hide from me. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. <clears throat> All right, so my my gamer instincts are telling me that we are uh, one really gonna need to waste these. Uh... Yeah, sorry about that. I know I really need to waste the uh, the pal pills because I don't really want them getting in my way and um causing any you know issues beating up the things that I'm trying to catch. Um, alright, I think I see what I have to do here. Let me go and grab a Flora Sapien from up here. As one does. 
Uh, let me see if I can toss you onto the big red button that does absolutely nothing. As well, I guess by definition, it's it doesn't it doesn't do absolutely nothing. Um, can I bonk you with that? All right, yeah, at least like oh uh, really? <clears throat> All right. I really hate you guys. <laughs> what if I were holding? All right, there we go. So I just had to be holding something. Okay. And then that that makes the pipe appear. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting my head in the game. I swear. See, that took a little longer than I probably needed to, but we have now arrived in this room, and there's a door and another pipe. Uh, for no real reason, I'm gonna say let's go through the door first. Can I hit a Curcio with a, uh, with a cudgel? Without having any bad effect happening. It seems that I can. Oh, that's, that's a problem. Uh, that is a poison mushroom. I'll use a sap soup. That's gonna be three HP, and I feel like I'm gonna want to hold on to this for some reason. Let's see. Yeah, up and down are uh, up and down are flips too. While I'm under the under the influence of this effect. Um, that's gonna be a pain. Um. All right, that's a wheel of fun. That's not really what I want right now. And the ghost room. Okay. Can I, can I grab that? My inventory is full again. Uh, uh, you know, I can buy more of these at the shop if I want to. I don't know why I, I don't know why I'm carrying these around. If I need a primordial fruit for cooking or... Oh, help. Alright, it's worn off. If I need a primordial fruit for cooking or anything like that, then I can just go and buy more at the shop. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to wait for probably about 60 seconds for the room to fill up. And we seem to have reached the end of the line, so I think with that, let me go ahead and break out a Thunder Rage. To which I have to shake the remote up and down. Oh, wow. Are, is that not enough to take these guys down? Oh, it is. Alright, I was gonna say, do you have more than 12 HP? I was uh, not expecting that that would be quite that easy. Here we have a POW block. Rattles enemies on the ground and ceiling. I suppose that wouldn't work for the, uh, the Gromibas, would it? I don't think that would work on the Gromibas because they're just hovering in the air. They're not, um... Um... Alright, this is another... Another shaking-related uh, action command. I can use this on the Curse, yeah. Um, better than uh, trying to attack them head-on, I would say. Much less dangerous. But the, uh, the, the Gromibas are, are flying enemies, so I don't think using a power block would work on them. Maybe the game designers are just trolling us. Alright. You guys... Wow. Managed to get through that anyway. Did that do 24 damage? Or do I ha Is that because I have a Spania card? I can do double damage to, to Spania. Um, I saw a skull. Alright, we seem to have gone in a circle officially. I see a, uh, a skull. On the wall, I wonder if anything would happen there if I were to use, uh, for example, Fleep. It's not one of the glowing, like, shimmering Fleep targets, but... That was terrible. Let's do that again. Um... Alright! That, that did work. Alright. <clears throat> Gamer instincts. With that, let's go, and I can't go up here, can I? Oh, I can. Alright. For some reason, I thought that would be too high. Uh, obviously not. Um, we have the key to a door. And, uh, the door is, uh, there was definitely a locked door. Okay, this is back where I was. Where did I go? I feel like I went in a circle. But I'm not entirely sure where that would have, where that circle would have been. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can find anything else down in these caverns. Because I feel like there's more that I have yet to, uh, uncover in two dimensions or in three 
Um. No. Help. Doors. By far the biggest problem I have with this game is the fact that the go through door button is like physically attached to the go left and right button. Um, you've seen me doing that, m messing that up constantly. Nowhere is as bad as the, uh, the space level, um, as uh, chapter 4 when it comes to accidentally going through doors. What was it? 4 3 with those gates of space. Um, because in that level, going up and down is also something that you would have to do. But um, definitely gets on my nerves in the rest of the game as well. Uh, it seems that... Alright, that... That... No, don't don't scan Fleep. The letters on the wall are glowing. Um... Behind the skull. That's what it says. Alright, well, I think I figured that out um, for myself already. Thanks, game. Uh, again, just uh... Going off on the gamer instincts or, or whatever I wanted to call them. And I think this one will bring me back to the beginning, right? I'd be very interested in, like, diagramming the doors and seeing where they go, because I feel like we're, uh... I feel like not... I feel like they're not, like, one-to-one. -one. They're not, like, following the rules of, like, Euclidean geometry. Um, but anyway, we're gonna probably never think about that again, because it's probably not actually that important. And we are gonna... If I were to flip in here... I can't flip while I'm climbing a ladder. Okay, I was gonna say, if I were to flip while I'm climbing a ladder in 3D that doesn't exist in 2D, uh, what would happen, but... It is uh, apparently not a concern right now. All right, so you do not have a spur on your head, Mario. You do not have a spur on your head, which makes me think I can talk to you. Eek! Found us. Gabo thought this was a good hiding spot since Q was lost, brah. Yes, this is unexpected, but so is a storm of rain. Such is the way of things. There are no absolutes. What do we do, brah? Come, come up, be at peace. Calm your inner raging sea. Let us meditate on this. You're probably right, brah. Got it! Evil bras, you take Grabo. Grabo, give up. But her, do not hurt Pixel. But you. No, let Grabo speak, brah. You kept Grabo company. You helped Grabo hide. Grabo, oh, you big, brah. Big debt for Pixel. Grabo's time ending, but Grabo really wanting you to live free. Come now, ease your mind. Let me muff with the whales of your frightened soul. Do not be hasty in fear. Look closer. This is not one of the Flora Sapiens. What? Who are you, Braz? Could you? You come to save Grabo? Well, I guess. This is interesting. Just like Flint Cragley, you've avoided falling under the control of the Flora Sapiens. What? Flint here, too? Grabo, huge Cragley fan. Cragley, do something, bra. Cragley, save us all. Well, isn't that welcome news? Why don't you go find Flint, for I m must bid you farewell. What? Why? You not come with Grabo? Humans and Pixels, or Kragnons and Pixels for that matter, shouldn't linger long together. Only heroes who know how to utilize Pixels properly can travel with them. Please, heed my words now. It's best for you this way. Oh, Crag. Come now, let me assist you in your departure from here. Let your aura shrink. When it diminishes, you can return to the village where the one you seek awaits. Thank you, Great Pixel Brock! Grab one, not forget you. Wah! Farewell, weeping Kragnon. Grow frolic beneath the sun where you are meant to live. Rain still falls in my heart. The taken souls cry out. Why do they cry such tears? You must stop this torrent. Fate brought us together. Great hero of 1500 years! Now you must take me there, to the deep, dark underbelly of the earth. Tiny pixel named Dottie has joined your group. Dottie can miniaturize you so that you can enter small spaces and avoid being noticed. Interesting. Very interesting. Let us go before the rain of tears becomes a flood before disaster breaks. So, we've seen a few of these. Uh, this uh, this pixel introduction came with a built-in tutorial, you may have noticed. Uh, there is no way out of this room other than to use Dottie's power. This, uh, this ledge is too high to climb and there is no, uh, no fancy escape route in 3D. So here we have no choice but to shrink down using Dottie and to uh, go through the door. And I suppose of all the uh, the enemies in this game named Pixel, 
Uh, Dottie lives up to Dottie lives up to their name, uh, probably better than anyone else, because we are, after all, uh, no more than mere pixels on the screen at this point. In fact, if I were to zoom in, um, it's going to be a little bit hard to actually count how many pixels comprise Mario's sprite because uh, the uh, like the Wii's video output will be blown up to 1080p on my screen and also capture device. But I uh, I feel like Mario can't be more than probably five or six pixels tall at this point so definitely uh definitely living up to our names i don't think there was anything for us down there in terms of like small mario um but i will uh i will come out this way anything up up here i feel like there's gotta be all right i'm pretty sure i have not yet been Oh no, this this would be uh this would be where we came from. Alright, what's down here then? In this uh, miniature pipe. This is oh, okay. That's fun. Um Let me uh, let me grab this just in case at some point there's a ghost room that shows its face. And if there's nothing that if there, if anything telegraphs that there's like an upcoming boss fight more than this, I don't know I don't know what it is. Although I think the uh, the boss fight is actually a little ways away still. Who knows? All right, let's get out of there. The uh, the palapels are all considerably considerably bigger than I am uh, right now at this moment, which is a little funny. Um, there was another door down here, wasn't there? All right, so if I were to if I were to go through this door, and there's no reason for me to be small right now, but I am curious. All right, so I'm gonna be forced to be big if I want to read the sign. Processing center. Um, that's interesting. It won't open. Please insert card key. All right. Well. Oh, those pal pills. Hello, card key. All right, so I just walked completely past this uh, this section earlier, apparently. But I can, uh, I can insert the card key. And I can, uh, also select the card key from my inventory, and now we can go through the door. Alright. I love how the pallet pills are, like, pushed aside. Another, another super mushroom there. Wow. Um, I love how the pallet pills are just pushed aside by the door when you go through the door. Looks very funny. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. How much do I trust this setup? Because I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like I might, uh... Soon come to regret having all these pal pills following me around. Because I have a feeling that when I hit this block... Or perhaps when I, like... Not what I meant to do. But perhaps when I, uh, for example... Suddenly this block, or a boomer this block, or do something to this block, uh, these cages are going to disappear. And I'm going to have little choice but to actually hit these guys with my pals and lose a lot of score. Or... Oh, this is, this is not good. Um, I wanted to hit, I wanted to hit that Cursia. Is the Cursia gone? Alright, the Curse here is at least gone. Uh, can I, uh, be sneaky about this? Oh my god, Mario. Thank you. I guess I could have just jumped up here and avoided the crowd to, uh, to begin with, but... Let's see, let's see what's through this pipe. There may or may not be something on the other side as well. But, this is going to... I see something. So, at long last, you've come to play like late sleeping toddlers. Uh, the, uh, the Wizard of Words. That can only be one character. Oh, hello. Dementio, no chunks. Ah, uh, do you not tire of collecting those worn out, tiresome pure hearts? I am not violent by nature, you know. I prefer to settle this peacefully, in fact. Say, for instance, you wish to go back to your world. I could do that for you. We are not interested. Ah ha ha, so it must be. Shall we begin? Well, joke's on you, Dementia. I can go back to my world wherever, whenever I want to. I do, after all, have that return pipe. Um, haven't you learned, no matter how often we fight, it will end the same. 
My, my, aren't you plucky? Same fight, same outcome. You are precisely correct. And that is why... Broccoli! Lovely green hat, wouldn't you say? What? What? Dear Ochunk, so strong yet so very dim, a child could learn his attack patterns. As such, I requested a few sprouts from my acquaintance to leaven him up a touch. I call the boy O-Cabbage. Don't be shy, O-Cabbage. Introduce yourself. Cabbage! Ah ha ha, simply adorable. Now remember kids, eat your vegetables to grow big. Except in this case, a veggie will eat you. Have fun now, ciao. He's still going. Asparagus! Alright, this is gonna be fun. Alright, you've... You've learned the ways of the charging chucks, I see. Mario. Okay, well... Alright, enough of that. That's not working. I, uh, I expect that I could dispatch you any number of ways. I could actually just jump on you. I... I... I could hit... Okay. Who remembers those those uh, screensavers on old DVD players? I, uh... Let's see, I could whack you. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, you're gonna whack me a little bit, I see. Oh, you're gonna do this again. I got too close. I suppose... Oh, uh, you're, you're really, uh... You're really showing off now, aren't you? That did the same amount of damage as the last one, didn't it? Why are you being so dramatic? Alright, bonk. Don't know how much HP you have, but yeah, can't possibly be that much more than the last time. Bubba, Broccoli! And the illusion wears off. <sighs> hey, what in the grave am I doing in here? Hmm, what are you doing in here as well? Oh, I get the picture. You lot want to challenge the new improved O chunks. You got pepper in your pants, I'll give you that, but this time, you will get ruined. Whoa, uh oh. Your belly's growling like a starving dog. War, your rule number one never fought on an empty stomach. Tis madness. Sorry, but we've got to call it a day. Can't go bucking the warrior rules. Next time, though, you're done. Chunks away! They never get tired of that exit, do they? Look, the spark from his head. It's the same as the one on the fortified on the florified Kragnons. It looks as though it's nearly dead, however. You got a fluoro sprout. Alright, a chunks drop this. What happens when we wear this? Well, what do you think? You kinda try it on? I believe you'll be safe. I'm no veggie. I do, however, like my veggies, so I'm gonna put it on. So, Mario looks thoughtful. You didn't turn into a cabbage, that's nice, I guess. This could come in handy. To put on or take off the sprout, go to the important things menu on the, uh, on the menu screen. Okay, I will definitely do that. Uh, let's see where this pipe goes. I expect this is gonna be, like, the outbound pipe by the... Ah-ha-ha! -ha. Hmm, if they could beat that model of O-Chunks, and they are coming along quite nicely. Perhaps they really are the ones I've waited for all this time. Ah -ha, ha I should prepare myself as well. So much to do, so precious little time. Yeah, this is gonna be the, uh, like, the outbound pipe above this. Um, this first door over here. Now, I did want to go back and check something. And that something is going to be exactly what is to the left of, yeah, to, to the left of this, uh, Flora Sapien section of Spamage. Um, this is gonna be annoying. There we go. Definitely trying to... Trying to avoid all... Oh my god. No, Merle. This is not the Wheel of Fun. Yeah, whatever. Um, sure. I don't know if I have any more space in my inventory, but I'm gonna try and pick it up anyway. I do. Alright. Well, I, uh, imagine I lost quite a bit of score there, but... This is a card for a Floor Cragnian. Alright. So, if you want a... Uh, if you want to have one of these guys as catch card in your inventory without, you know, uh, having to stomp on them, I guess this is how you would, how you would get that. And uh, now we take our exit. Alright, 
I've been recording this video for 25 minutes, about, and it's a little longer than I'd like for a single video, uh, because we do still have an upcoming boss fight after all, and there is a, uh, a section in front of it. Not a big one, but one that I suspect that we'll spend quite a bit of time reading, uh, text and lore and that sort of thing. And, uh, this video is probably gonna be, uh, going on for a bit. I'm not exactly sure where all the time in this video, um, like, ended up going to, because, uh... I mean, it's not like I spent a lot of time wandering around in the caverns. Let's see. So on the subject of Dottie, I suppose, uh, there have been a number of, uh, places in the game where you could shrink down and you could go through doors and you can go through, like, little hidden sections. I remember a couple of them. I'm not gonna go out of my way to go and track down all of them to see what I can find, I don't think. And now that I've said that, I probably will, because I'm just that kind of... That kind of gamer who has to know these things. But we'll, um... We'll definitely be, be making use of her powers uh, when, um... Uh, hello? Goodbye. Uh, we'll definitely be making use of her powers when I do find uh, upcoming... Uh, sections where I can do things like that. So let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cuddle you. That's gonna be a little faster than jumping, I think. Uh, we have these, uh, this portrait gallery. This looks like a fairly important, uh, regal-looking sort of place. And they all have little plaques underneath them, and I will read them. King Crocus the first. Reign, uh, years 1 to 496. No, 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 no! Scrolling too fast. Hang on, let me start over. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, this is, that's a lot of words. First king of the Floro, uh, Flora Kingdom. Crocus the first is known as the greatest of kings. He, you know, ah. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this all of a sudden. He united the Flora Sapiens under a single cause, creating the Flora Kingdom. He made a capital here and established a calendar, uh, uh, begun at the kingdom's birth. Heavily armored, he bore deadly thorns and came to be called the Iron Rose. The kingdom's infrastructure and early roads were built by King Crocus the first design. But when his successor, uh, the prince, wilted unexpectedly, so did Crocus the first spirit. The floor year 444 marked the start of his reign of fear, the darkening. Eventually, Crocus I and his foul uh, regime were overthrown in a sappy coup d'etat. Heh, <laughs> sappy. The king was struck down, marking the official end of the darkening. His wilting words were said to be, The Iron Rose shan't wither, but wither he did. How tragic. Queen Crocus II reigned 496 to 1298. These guys really live a long time. Crocus II was the daughter of the great ruler Crocus I. Crocus II was imprisoned for being critical of the former king's policies, but when he was overthrown by the people, Crocus II was freed and given the throne. Her efforts to reduce taxes and study diseases made Crocus II very popular. Eventually, her influence helped erase the scars that the Darkening had left. She also compiled a Florisapian prehistory called the, Fl the Flictonarian. That's a lot of syllables. The book was to be your legacy, a historic mark of her benevol benevolent influence. Crocus II feared the flight, uh, feared the fight for the throne that might ensure if she bore many heirs. She had but one heir late in her life, discerned her the name the White Maiden. Alright. King Crocus III, 1298 to 1385. That is not a long time on standards of you lot. Crocus III was just one when his mother wilted. He became the youngest king ever. The king had a, uh, the young king had a great predilection and talent for poetry and art. His talent was evident in works like Ice Rose, a book of poems from his 37th year. But he was also afflicted by a terrible disease from the time he was born. Without ever impacting the affairs of the kingdom, he wilted at age 88. The cause of his wilting was never made public, and he suspected a cons conspiracy, but this was never confirmed. For a long time, uh... When I played this, like, for the first time, and really second and third time, I expected something to become of, to become of that last uh, statement about a conspiracy, but as far as I know, uh, that there's no other... That's just, like, a passing mention of lore. Uh, there's no, um... There's no other mention of it anywhere else in the game or anything like that. Which brings us to King Crocus IV, reign 1385 to present. Formerly a regent for King Crocus III, he ruled in place of the frail child king. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Alright, that one was shorter, at least. After Crocus III's wilting, his service was recognized and he was made king. His stabilizing influence and political savvy made him popular and well-known. His recent achievements include... In Flora year 1625, he invented a method for mind-controlling Kragnons. 
In floor year 1626, he spearheaded an initiative to enslave crag nuns en masse. Alright. Which brings us to the present day. Fascinating. So there's not much forest in here, which uh, suggests to anyone who has played this game for a significant amount of time that we should probably try flipping. Um, and it looks like if we were to bomb underneath each of these portraits, something interesting would happen. Alright, there's a hole in the ground opening up. Let's see. I am not sure, although I suspect that this is... Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure, although I suspect that this is something, like, relevant. Um, that the, uh, the long durations that these people are, or I guess these flowers are apparently living, is, uh, somewhat referential. <clears throat> Alright, so if I set it off in 2D, it's not gonna actually make a hole in the ground. To the, uh, like, the extremely long lifespans of things like trees and other plants, if they are, uh, kept healthy and in good condition for long amounts of time. Um, hmm. Can I, uh... Alright, so, you... I'm noticing... Oh my god, I didn't even notice that Bowser has... Wow. I never knew he had that little animation. That's cool. Um, trees can live a very long time. Uh, the, uh, the current record is, give or take, about 5,000 years, I think, uh, for the longest known... The, like, the oldest known tree. And I suspect that the fact that these, these flower people were reigning for, like, thousands of years is somewhat referential to that. And as I was... By, I guess. As I was also starting to say, I suspect I'm going to have to line up the colors of these blocks with the colors of these portraits. Um, because, you know, the, uh, the association of colors. And, um... And things like that in games. Alright, so this one's already blue. So I don't think I would have to do anything to this. And the last one was red, was it not? I'm also... Do any of these, um... Okay, that one didn't have a crack in the ground, but... It's bombing there anyway. There's a save block down here. I wonder if that could possibly mean that we're about to come up on a boss. I do not want to save, however. I do want to make that red. Alright. Very nice. Um, are there any other, uh, indications besides color on blocks? It doesn't look like there is. Uh, there's no, like, shape or icon or anything like that. And, uh... Having things in games denoted purely by color coding can be a bit of trouble. Um, it's just one of those things that you become attuned to if you spend time designing things for people who may or may not have color, uh... color vision impairment. Anyway. Crocus, pretty beautiful things. Oh, we bring them to me. More, more, more. Ooh, what is this hideous clashing thing? Um, are you King Crocus? Ooh, we you. So you must be one of the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashing of my beautiful kingdom. Trashing is my new favorite word. No, we you. Thus you are warned. King Crocus, you must release the Kragnons you've enslaved. Never! Their sturdy bodies make such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig more gems so I can build my bejeweled palace. Ooh wee. Why, how positively horrid. Release them this instant. Trash is garbage no, ma no matter how you dress it. This world is made for beauty. If you need some proof, then have a look at this. Oh, now we've really got to stomp on your face, don't we? It's the pure heart. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly and you can barely think, hmm? Seems we all seek beauty. So how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you. We're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Interesting. Ooh, wee, you, here I come. For some reason, I'm reading you like a One Piece villain or something like that. All right, 
So that's gonna be fun. I can uh, try to not have you land on my head like that. As you can see, I'm not really being super successful at that. Let's see. Uh, I believe when you open your face is my my cue to try and try and attack you. All right. I'm really not doing very well at avoiding hits here, am I? Uh, let's see. Can I? No. I need. I need to. I need. Why am I so bad at this all of a sudden? All right. Can I switch to Bowser? Uh, from there, I can at least attack you out of range. Oh, that's fascinating. Thorns, thorns, thorns. All right, well, uh, better luck next time. So... All right, that's some damage. I've indeed got to wait until your face opens up before I can attack you. Um, let's see, if I were to... There we go, avoided that one, finally. Open your face. Not what I had in mind. Um, if I were to scan you with Tippy, I suspect I would... There we go, that's two. Oh, is that really all? Did I really only have to deliver two hits? Oh no, you're in, a, in another stage. Alright, uh, let's switch to, to, to Mario. He's a little bit more um, nimble right now. Uh, if you can open your face again, that would be appreciated. I, I see that is not in the cards today. All right, let's uh, get out of the get out of the way of those whirling blades of death, and jump on you. All right, got a really uh. All right, there we go. That's another one. I'm gonna guess the first stage seemed to give you about what 20 HP. So I'm gonna guess that the second stage is also gonna be about 20 HP. And to, to take care of that. It will have to hit you a few more times because Mario does do half the damage of Bowser. Oh, that was unfortunate. I'm going to probably want uh, healing eventually, probably soon. That's fun. All right. There we go. That is another one. And let's see. A roast shroom dish. It's as good a time as any to use this. I did waste quite a bit of HP at the beginning uh, of this fight because it did take damage from those those flowers that came bashing me down from the sky a number of times. That was a little bit on the annoying side. All right. Apparently I can just hide out in this corner. Nope, never mind. I can't just hide out in the corner. Um, but if I can, if I can wait for the cane to come back and apparently, all right, I was expecting you to open up sooner. There we go. Oh, is that it? That can't be it. There's gotta be a third stage, right? Oh, that was it. All right. Beautiful. Even as I wilt, I am beautiful. King Crocus. Wait, whoa. What did you guys do, huh? You have defeated your king. Get over it. Hey, shut up. You don't get it at all. King Crocus was awesome. He totally thought it was people first, man. And you, you wilted him. What? What are you talking about? Water, man. I'm talking about water. The Kragnons are polluting our water. Those dudes were tossing the trash in the river. We had to drink that crud. The dirty water was what drove our king bonkers. Don't you get it? So then... Oh. Of course. I knew it all along. Craglio! Emergency special report from the Flora Front Lines. Environmental pollution drives Flora Sapiens mad. Whither will they, uh, whither will they rampage? So the villagers throwing garbage in the river was the reason for the whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This play with Green Kragnon crowd. This will play... This play well with Green Kragnon crowd. Ah, uh, yes, because, uh, verb tense is something that not all of these guys have yet to evolve into their vocabulary. Ratings explode, brah! It, like, Krags on Ice meets Baron von Kragnton. Yes, once my fellow villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the wards of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man, I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure, you know what I mean? We promise not to dirty our water, and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' noggins too, man. Sounds like a fine way to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was a rather unexpected turn. Wailing on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes, you should take this. One of our earliest kings uh, received this to safeguard until the heroes arrive. 
Our people have kept that promise for like 1500 years or something crazy like that. I'm sure our Wilta King here will be stoked that the duty is done. You got a pure heart. Alright, that's the end of that. Uh, this is definitely a little bit on the, uh, the longer side of videos. I do hope that they will not all be this long. Although, um... Oh, I forgot to read the first line of text. That is what moves me to travel into the belly of the beast week after week. I assume it was something very, uh, rather Gilderoy Lockhart-ish. Because that's what most of what this guy has to say is. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Cragly Ho! Having wrapped up their last shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Crag. Mario and friends clutched the sixth pure heart as they walked back towards Flipside. Our heroes had taken a new step towards overturning the Prophecy of Destruction. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, hopefully future chapters will not be quite this long, although if they are, I will break them up into separate videos, because I just don't like 40-minute videos very much. Um, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.